Hello there, dear Facebook friends and family. Today we have a very awesome live stream for you. Cut out the drama. <laughs> I think that's a great topic. So I'm going to let you all hop on and then we will get started. So as you join, please announce your name, where you are from. I love to see where you all are joining us from. And here's the thing. I like to come back and interact with you in the comments. Looks like everyone's hopping on. So go ahead and uh, share your name. So today we are going to dive right in. Cut out the drama. How do we cut out the drama? Well, I've got an awesome outline for you. I'm going to share some points here. I'm going to finish it over on my fan page, Elise Lightning, your success coach, because I have a lot of people there that are not in our company. And over there, I like to share a lot of inspiration, uplifting, and inspiring. So here's the thing. People get into drama because they aren't, whoops, they aren't disciplining themselves right? And sometimes we're not aware that we are allowing it in our lives. So I'm going to teach you a few techniques today, some words to say on how you can eliminate the drama. And here's something cool. When you cut out the drama, you have energy available to do what you are meant to do rather than getting wrapped up in an employee type mindset or what I call the water cooler mindset. You know how people in offices, they are known for hanging out at the water cooler? Well, when I was a teacher, the same thing happened in the teacher's lounge. And I wasn't available to that. I didn't ever enjoy being wrapped up in other people's drama. So I'm super excited to see you all joining us today. Go ahead and announce your name and where, what state are you in or country even. And we're going to share today with you all about cutting out the drama. So if you have people that you think would benefit from this video, please share it if you're watching the replay. Or down below where we're commenting is a little person icon with an arrow. Go ahead and click that and you can actually tag your friends to watch this video. Even if they can't see it now, they will be able to catch the replay. Play. Facebook will notify them. So are you able to hear me all right? Can you see me well? I'm here at our new home and we had to install a booster <laughs> for our internet as well as for our cell phone service. It's crazy. So we're just getting settled in today. In fact, here's how crazy it is for us today. The um, furniture is being delivered from our house in Billings and the moving truck can't get down our driveway. So guess what our movers are doing? They are hand carrying and pushing our furniture up our long driveway. Can you imagine? Yes, we are giving them activate. I knew you would ask that. <laughs> so thanks for joining in. Let's dive right into what we're going to talk about today. I've got my notes here. I came very prepared. And I want you all to decide that when you are, a, okay, let's, let, let me just really gather my thoughts here because I think this is a very important topic that we can cover that will help you succeed. Because when you get involved in drama or gossip, what do you do? You lose focus. You spin off, right? You spin off. And you don't have the energy and the focus and the vision and the positive outlook it's gonna take to achieve great things when you allow drama in your life. And yes, it is a choice, and if there is drama in your life, you are allowing it. So let's uncover some of this, okay? Um, I'm gonna share these points with you here, and then I'm gonna finish it off with three other points on my fan page for the fans there that are missing this live stream on my profile. So if you wanna catch the end of the replay, or not the end of the replay, but the end of the content and training, just hop over to my fan page after we finish up here. It's Elise Lining, or you'll find it. Um, so the road to success is paved with the things that you do not want to do. It will take you to the things that you want. It's on the other side of these things that we do not want to do, where we will find success, peace, and harmony. So honestly, what it comes down to when you want success in your life is discipline, right? You've got to discipline your thoughts, your words, and your actions. And when you do that, that's where we see these results. That's where we see people who skyrocket to success. That's it, you all, that is it. 
boils down to that is their focus. Where is their focus? Remember, where your focus goes, energy flows. What you focus on grows. So if you allow drama, gossip, and negativity in your life, where's your focus? Go ahead and comment below. Where does your focus go when you allow gossip, drama, and negativity in your life? Where does it go? It doesn't go on helping others live the life that they deserve, does it? It doesn't, I mean, let me put it this way. You have limited time every day, limited. So if you're spending any of that time in negativity, you're spending any of that time around people who are negative, your mind goes there, right? Am I right? Do you all follow what I'm saying here? Or am I totally off base? I need to see your comments below because that will help me stay on track with what I'm talking about. Um, so gossip kills production, leadership, reputation, and trust. Do you allow gossip in your network, your family, your friendship circle, your business? If you're allowing gossip, you're killing production, leadership, reputation, and trust. And that right there does not set you up for success. That is not a foundation for success, is it? That's a foundation for feeling very scattered, uncertain, self-doubt. It doesn't fill you with self-confidence, okay? So once you become aware of what you are allowing in your life and you're able to um, start to become more proactive in that, you're going to see a better return on what it is that you focus on during the day because as you eliminate those negative that negative self talk and you eliminate or limit your exposure to those who are negative do you see it you are able to get in the zone we call it you are able to live out your i am statements and I do hope you all have an I am statement of I am confident, I am blessed, I am on a mission to help others live the life that they deserve. Post your favorite I am statement in the comments because I want to see where you're at with that. Okay. Okay, so again, what you talk about is what you are committed to. That's what you focus on with most of your energy. That's what you see growing in your life. And I love to point this out to people and sometimes it feels a little bit harsh, but what you have in your life in the moment is a result of a lot of the decisions and the words and the actions that you have taken in the past, right? You simply live out what you think about. You simply live out what you talk about. So if you're not surrounded with your ideal dream life, let's get clear where it is that you are allowing these things to seep back in. And I'm gonna tell you something that's very challenging, is human beings, tend to look for the path of least resistance. That's just our nature. Um, I think it comes back from centuries ago as humans were living in a survival mode, right? They were always trying to find the easiest way to conserve the most calories. Now today in our modern age, we have all of our basic needs met. We have high calorie foods, sugary, crappy foods all over the place, and it's very easy to fall prey to that. So you've got to get disciplined in what you eat and drink as well. People drinking a lot of pop and alcohol, that's just pure sugar for the body, not good. And the same goes for the way we think, the way we, the decisions we make in the day. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like once you start to really break it down, understand human nature, understand how these things play out in your life, you can get ahead of the curve. And that's where you become an entrepreneurial minded person instead of an employee type minded person who is waiting for someone else to give them directions, who spends time gossiping about others because that creates drama in their lives and gives them a little kick. And, um, you know, that's not that's not healthy for you. That's not meant for you. That's why you're watching this live stream. Drama and negativity, not meant for you, okay? Great leaders, they will make authentic mistakes along the way, but they will confess their mistakes to their team or to their network, whoever they're working with. They'll own it. I know that I do. Um, they will not allow others' opinions to hurt them. We uh, Great leaders do not take others' opinions personally. You know the four agreements, right? Who's read the four agreements? 
And please comment below if you know the author of the four agreements because all of a sudden it's escaping me and I know the last live stream I couldn't remember it either. <laughs> but I love the four agreements and if you're in my network you've seen me post the four agreements um, graphic and I encourage our, our team members to print it out because when they follow the four agreements they line up their life accordingly. Number two on the four agreements is uh, don't take things personally. It's not about you. You don't know the backstory when somebody is talking about something or doing something and you're taking it personally and you're like, oh, they don't like me. Oh, I did X, Y, Z. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Employee mindset. Don't go there. Don't take things personally. Okay. Um, and the third component of a great leader is they quickly forgive, they release, and they bless. Right? So three components of a great leader. They confess their mistakes. They don't take others' opinions personally and allow that into their heart and derail them from their vision. And three is they quickly forgive, release, and bless. That's it. That's what a great leader does. You line up your principles to that, and there you go. You're going to be right on track. Okay? Um, if you have a big vision for where you're headed and then you break it down into one task at a time and get into production, that's how you become very successful. And we have the steps to do that. So I'm going to encourage you to go to your leadership and just say, listen, I am ready for this. I don't want the drama anymore. I want the success. I'm committed to what it takes one step at a time. They're going to love it. Your leaders will love hearing that from you. Um, and here's something to remember as well. Feelings are often a lie. They are not the truth. They are just feelings, okay? And that's where I find my strength, is I will ask God to bless that situation or that person and release me. It works. Since I discovered this practice and I started applying it to my life, I cannot believe the freedom that I have from that emotion. Does that make sense? Your feelings are just feelings. They are not the truth. So don't allow that to become your compass. Your compass, oh look at this, little cute butterfly just landed on my shirt. Can you see him? Ha <laughs> ha, how cute. See him? We interrupt this broadcast for <laughs> a break from nature. <laughs> okay, now, high levels of leadership do not take on feelings as truth. You allow those other people to have the feelings, right? You love them through their mistakes. You stick with them. You leave the door open. That's what high levels of leadership does. We love the people where they're at. Um, I'm sorry. My nose is so runny because I got allergies. <laughs> um, you will find in time, and something you can say to people that um, continue to struggle with you is, you will find in time that you can trust me. I will always be standing beside you and I love you. It will not change when things happen. I am for you. I support you. Even when you are not for yourself. Even when you do not believe in yourself. Those are words that you can say to somebody who continually tries to bring up drama. They try to create doubt about you. You just tell them. I am here for you. I will stand beside you. I will love you where you're at. And you forgive them and you bless and you release. And if they continue to create the drama and they're on your team, you limit your exposure to the drama. You don't have to reply to their text messages, their phone calls, or their Facebook messages, do you? It's a choice. You could ignore that. So when people show up with a lot of drama, you're not available for it. And you can even say that. I am not available for drama. I am committed to helping you build your business. And if you want to talk about how to build your business, let's do it. But I'm not going to gossip about so-and-so or talk about the blah, blah, blah anymore because I am not available to that. I am only available to take steps towards success. Hi. Hi. Do you want the treadmill downstairs? Mm, no. Where? I probably wouldn't use a treadmill in the basement. Okay, where? What about that room? Sorry, we're moving the furniture in. The wood floor? Or the bedroom? Bedroom. Because that's kind of going to be my office, I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. I love you. Um, does that help you all? Are you on board with what I'm saying here? Do you have something you can apply to your life today? If you do, I want to see your commitment to that in the comments. Do you have somebody that you need to have this conversation with? 
It could be a spouse, a mother, a sister, a brother, a friend. It could be someone on your team. You're just not available for the drama. You have the right to put up boundaries. It's your right. And you ought to always remember that drama drains. Drama drains energy. So you might be thriving, but if, you got a, if you're allowing drama, the energy drains. Sorry, but it's the truth. If you want to be a successful, impactful leader, you're not available to the drama. You don't take things personally. And when people create drama, you directly have a conversation. You don't be aggressive, but you be assertive. You don't be passive aggressive and post blah, blah, blah on Facebook about so-and-so in a very nondescript way, but that person obviously knows who you're talking about. <laughs> you just go to them and you say, hey, listen, this is kind of a hard conversation for me, but we're in business. You have kids. I have kids. We've got commitments. We've got to balance this business, and I just don't have time for the drama. So if you want to talk business, let's talk business, but I'm not available to talk about drama anymore. Amen. Can I get an amen here? You guys have some people you need to have this conversation with? Go ahead and post below in the comments. I'm going to give you more words to say over on my fan page where I am going right now. And I am doing this because I've got a lot of people there. Almost 11,000 fans. And I haven't been doing any live streams on that fan page. I've only been doing them here on the profile. <laughs> So, I'm going to hop over there. I'm going to share some of this. And if you will want to share this video with your uh, any friends or anybody, you can click the share button. It's recorded. You can find it under my profile under photos. There's an album called Videos. All my videos that I live stream are there for you. And again, we'll be back tomorrow for another live stream video. I cannot wait to see you all. And um, um, I'm, at some point, I will show you our beautiful house. Holy cow. It's so gorgeous. And the view. And last night, guess what we had on the property? Elk. We had elk in our pasture. Right there. <laughs> so cool. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.